Greetings, everyone. Um, we are going to take a look at our coins. I, you must be thinking that I've been hiding because I've had problems. No, coins have been done for four months. I have thousands of coins already in the U.S. I can't start fulfilling those until the characters' expansions arrive uh, because we have certain bundles. And so um, the delay was because I wanted to get in uh, a sailing schedule for the different geographies, and that's in the update. I'm not going to waste time here talking about that, but uh, I've had the coins for a while. And so the coins, I got to give a nod to Panda. The coins were in a bigger bag, with a, and they wanted a bigger coin tab, but then they said, well, we got three bags. We got a bag for the 100 pound coins, we got a bag for the 500 pound coins, and then you got a bag for overall on the outside. And this is a heavy, heavy, I can't even tear this bag. Um, and then the coin tab is really anchored onto that bag with some heavy staples. And we got everything a lot smaller. It still weighs, I mean, well, I'm, I'm going to stay in tight, still weighs um, three quarters of a pound, but um, it's in a much smaller container, which is great. And so I'm going to go ahead and open this. And this has got a coin tab, which is, again, the staples on the bag. <laughs> And that comes off, and voila, we have two bags, one to hold the 500 pound coins and one to hold the 100 pound coins. And these bags are heavy duty in and of themselves. I'll go ahead and start on these coins. So this is, this is my 100 pound coin. So let me give you a close up look of a 100 pound coin. So it's intended on the front to be sort of a generic British coin from, from the 19th century. I'm not going to be editing this. I'm not going to be editing this because I want to get this posted today and it's just live. So there's going to be some stumbles. So a generic Victorian coin you could use it with. I like to joke every Martin Wallace game that's been made. Uh, and on the back are some obsession elements for us. Now I did a little bit of a Celtic look because I'm an Irishman um, on the back, but you can see the obsession elements. There's the lion rampants and the fleur de lis, and there's a crown in the middle, and it says 100 pounds. And then on the front, again, very generic, a young Queen Victoria, and that's the 100 pound coins. And then on the 500 pound coins, it's a little bit of an older Queen Victoria, but still. Uh, still something around the time of our game, which is 1860s. And so here's an example of a Queen Victoria. Now, some of you might be looking at the wash and saying that's a really heavy wash. Um, I will tell you that um, if I flash out here, you're going to see that I've been indulging in my coins. And one of the things I wanted to do was to have a coin stand up over time because as you handle a coin and you rub it, you tend to polish the, high, the highlights of the boss relief coin, and it starts to get a really authentic antique look. So on the 500 pound coin, we have a slightly older Queen Victoria. And in the back, we have elements, which is our courtship couple, the, uh, the rose from the improvement tile, the lion rampant, the fleur de lis, and a crown and it says 500 on the banner. So these coins are coins that have been used for the last couple months for me, by me playing all my obsession games. And you can see the coins really age well in that they pop when you're looking at it up close. It has a feel of an authentic coin. And there you go. And I know you're, some of you are very jealous that I have such a treasure trove of coins, but um, that's one of the ways that I've passed the time waiting for the characters' expansions to get on the boats. And that update, of course, is in the, uh, is in the uh, update that I just posted. Thanks.